Hi, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Lane Stamper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from the United States. And today I just wanted to mention something that I discovered um, in the catalog. Um, I've been using, it's with the Gilded Autumn Suite. And it's got beautiful colors. Um, there's wonderful things in the suite. There's some acorn trinkets that I love. There is some um, basket weave. Um, ribbon and, and mint macaroon and then a copper trim. There is some brushed metallic cardstock and that's in bronze and co copper and gold and I absolutely love this DSP. I think it's so gorgeous. I'm going to show it to you in a second and then also bundled with it is um, three punches and a stamp set. And the stamp set, you can see a little bit better. This is on page 46. The suite goes from 44 through 46. And um, it's got some great sentiments there for fall. And then also these autumn punch pack. And I'm working on a project um, some baker boxes. This is a retired baker box die that I'm using and um, I put Yankee candles in it with a little pedestal if you're interested. I do have a video out there on how I how I, how I put these together and then I'm using um, some of the brushed um, um, cardstock. I believe this is gold and I had another design on it and I didn't really like it and then I thought you know I think those um, punches would be absolutely perfect for this. So I ordered them and not realizing that they were bundled. I guess I was so excited to order them that they're bundled with this stamp set. So, but what I wanted to find out and what I'm going to show you today, um, the stamps are a little bit bigger. I thought they were going to be something like this. Um, this is a retired half inch circle. But I've got a bunch of punches like this that have little leaves and flowers and things like that. And I thought that's the size that they were going to be. But no, they were a bigger size. So I was kind of surprised um, when I got them in the mail yesterday. And they have an acorn, uh, an oak leaf, and a maple leaf. And then I got to thinking, you know, I wonder, I'll show you the DSP real quick too. So this is some of the, some of it I've already cut up and used a little bit. So um, some are not full sheets, but it's got this beautiful um, harvest leaf with like some wheat like um, images and then a beautiful stripe that you can use all round, all year round on the other side. And it's got this, um, I believe it's terracotta. Yes, it is, because the paper I'm using is terracotta. And it's got foiling on the back. And some acorns and maple leaves. And then, I love this one. With some leaves with the mint macaroon background. And then a houndstooth a pattern on the back. And really espresso. And let's see, um, there's, I've got a couple of the pieces here, I think, oh there's this one with the pumpkins that I've used some of on my boxes here, and then it's got a really pretty um, espresso with like a crumb cake and early espresso, or a speckle I meant to say, um, and early espresso speckles on the back, and if I... I think that's about it, except for this, which I only have one up oh, here. I do have a bigger sheet of it left. <laughs> and these two actually are the same design. This is um, color printed, and then this has got the, the foil on the back, and then it's got a herringbone pattern on the back with early espresso and crumb cake. So, and then the backgrounds on these are, are um, very vanilla. So, but what I was wondering was, when I was creating my little boxes, was I wondered, after I would ordered these, if the 
punches actually worked with the dies or the the DSP and they do um, I've got a let's see I had a piece of a little piece I cut out to show you well, well here it is so here's the um, one with an acorn and the maple leaf or oak leaf sorry my DNR buddies that I worked with for 20 years <laughs> would be laughing at me if I didn't get that right. So they line up perfectly and you can just punch it. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm adding these actually to my little um, tag that I've got on here. So then I've tied a little acorn and this is also in the catalog. I love that they've put a summary of everything in the catalog in the back for a really quick reference. So I'm looking for this and it's, I believe, maybe it is the one that comes with the, the um, with the bundle. I was thinking it was a different one. Maybe. Yep. There's another one that comes with the Forever Greenery um, Suite, but this one is the one that comes with the basket weave and metallic ribbon. And I really like it because it ties really well. It doesn't fray and it's just a nice texture. So actually that is part of this, this suite also. So I've um, embellished this, just stuck these on here with a couple of glue dots. And then I actually embossed um, a sentiment on there with some um, bronze embossing powder. And then I just, as I was putting these together just now, I was thinking, you know, when I use up all this DSP, of course I can, I can uh, stamp some. Let me get back here. With the stamp set. And don't do what I just did. I uh, was so excited to get the, the punches here in the bottom of the catalog, the bottom of the page there, that I didn't order the coordinating stamp set. So I ordered the stamp set and didn't get to save my 10%. So I always recommend if you like it, buy it right away when it's bundled because if it comes out and if it's carried over to another com um, catalog, they won't be bundled anymore. And the DSP2, if you like it, get it then because it won't carry over to the next catalog. So those are my recommendations. Anyway, um, so I was thinking, you know, okay, I can stamp these images on regular cardstock and um, punch them out. And, but I'm thinking, what about when my beautiful DSP is gone? I would be so sad. But if I want to recreate this, and you could use, make your own DSP background too with it, just take this one of these stamp sets that have the detail on it. There are two steps. One's to fill in the background and one is to fill in the detail. Take this and emboss it on some um, vanilla DSP, or if you want to use white, you could do that too. But if you want to replicate the DSP here, just um, stamp and emboss that in some either gold or bronze or um, copper embossing, fold, embossing powder. So I'm really happy. <laughs> I just thought of that and I just wanted to pass that on to you. <laughs> and there are some, this cute little leaf that is in the, um, in the paper too is also on this DSP but if you want that you have to cut it out by hand as well as the the pine cone um, or if you have a stamp and um, scan and stamp scan and cut machine um, you could stamp them out and cut them out that way too so I think this is actually a gorgeous set for fall um, anyway that was my little my little tip that I wanted to show you was that I didn't realize how big these were for one thing and which is nice because they're easier to handle but I love 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 when you can actually 
use your dies or that coordinate with the set or the punches and punch it out. I love that. I just, it's like getting double duty or doubling your money. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, thank you for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this little tip. If you don't have a demonstrator or a catalog, um, contact your local demonstrator if you have one and I'm sure she'll get you a catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator, contact me and um, you can contact me at my um, email account is cottagelanestamper at gmail.com. It's all one word and just put catalog in the subject and I'll mail one out to you. Also, if you don't have an annual catalog, um, and then I'd, I'd love to be able to earn your, your business. So thanks for stopping in. Um, check out my blog. I'll be posting this also on my blog, um, Cottage Lane Stamper at blogspot.net.com. Sorry. And um, you follow me on my Facebook group page. I'll put all this here at the bottom. Um, Cottage Lane Stamper and with an ampersand, friends. So it's a public group. You have to join, but it is public. So anyway, thanks for stopping in. Take care and God bless.